26, the troubling case dubbed gardening while black. An African-American man who's an urban farmer ended up on trial over the allegations of three white women angered by his work on a community garden. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us what happened and how it played out in court. Mark Peoples went on trial this week on three counts of misdemeanor stalking, and by the time it was over, the judge had harsh words for the three women who claimed to be the victims. These women, you know, clearly were lying, you know what I mean? Clearly they were lying. They complained, saying that you have threatened them in the past. Mark Peoples says for months, three women who are white repeatedly called Detroit police on him for working on a garden in an old park on the city's east side, falsely accusing him of being a pedophile and having Having a gun, and when he painted trees red, black, and green, colors of the Pan African flag, he was accused of being in a gang. None of this was true. None of it is true. You know, it wasn't a, a mistake. It wasn't uh, these. This was purposely done to try to destroy my life. People's attorney Robert Burton Harris says this was a case of gardening while black, where you have people calling the police on on mostly African Americans for doing very mundane things. You think she moved into this neighborhood to be called a racist? This man is a friend of one of the three women whose complaints ultimately landed peoples in handcuffs, charged with three counts of misdemeanor stalking. So you got to cuff me and all that? They were willing to call me a pedophile. They were willing to call me a gang banging, gun toting racist, you know what I mean? And I was doing anything but planting the seed, you know, to try to help my community grow. Hey, the part about him coming out and farming and teaching kids how to farm, it's fantastic. Oh my God, you know, please do more of that, you know. But at the same time, you can't get done digging a hole over here and teaching kids how to do it and then walk over and say, I'm going to burn your house down and run you out of here because you're white. But when Peoples went on trial this week, 36th District Court Judge Elanese Bryant acquitted Peoples, siding with the urban farmer in a directed verdict. And she believes this was a case very much about race. It was clearly, in my opinion, that these ladies had engaged in not only harassment of Mr. Peoples, but illegal conduct towards Mr. Peoples. They just strictly thought that their uh, so-called white privilege was going to work this time, and it did. Mark Peoples and his attorney say they now plan to file a civil lawsuit against the three women for, at the very least, defamation. In downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim.